Hey guys, how you all doing today? And today I'll be watching Hannibal Season 2, Episode 5. Beverly. Beverly, what did you do? You went down in the basement, even though you had the kidney. And what did you do? You ran into Hannibal and you saw something that we were not shown. And I'm sure you'll be very important later on. Maybe we'll find out in this episode. Who knows? But, all right. My God gut feeling says Beverly's dead. No shit, Dylan. But uh, Beverly, I liked her as a character, to be honest. She she was somewhat starting to believe in Will. Actually, she believed in Will by the end of it. And she found out about Hannibal, but it wouldn't make sense for her to still be alive. And I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest. I have no clue. Um, we still don't know about um, Will's admirer. Is it Hannibal? Is it someone else? That's one thing too, and um, the trial as well. It's it's gonna restart as well. So um, it's so it bothered me so much that Beverly is p pretty much dead because she was that hope for Will, and she could have went to Jack first and at least give Jack the doubt that it's Hannibal, you know, just say to you know, in Jack's perspective, if Beverly starts saying it's Hannibal. Will's accusations aren't as, you know, crazy to him. But, um, yeah, Hannibal knew this was coming. He, he, he was um, playing with her in the beginning. That scene when um, they're looking at the body that he was responsible for and um, he was telling her the clues to, w to where to find the kidney and or not find the kidney, I guess, because it wasn't there because he took it as a trophy to eventually eat. And... Um, he, she, he, he kept on saying to her, you know, your words sound like Will Graham because he knows for, he knows that she is visiting him to for help for cases. But yeah, that was my, you know, thought in the last episode. It was a good episode and the ending was hurt me and got me excited at the same time because it left on the cliffhanger. There was gunshots firing up there. So from what I can tell, maybe Hannibal's grabbed a gun. And if that's the case, I don't know if she's got a good chance of getting out there. So, but anyway. That was the last episode, and if you want to check out the full-length reaction to this episode, you can do that on my Patreon, where I'll be doing that for all future episodes, and I've done some for the previous episode, starting with the season one finale, and I'll be doing full-length movie reactions, and you can request a movie every month, it's all up to you. But anyway, without further ado, let's fucking do this, boys and girls, three, two, one, go. It wasn't what I could do for Bella. It was what I couldn't do to you, Jack. Guess I'm a better friend than a therapist. Huh. You're a great friend, Al. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, he's a Chesapeake Ripper, too. Doesn't matter. Freddy Lounge. That place holds a lot of significance. They found that trainee's arm. Um, Chilton had a lovely experience there too, didn't he? <laughs> like the score in the background. <laughs> Something like from The Shining, isn't it? Look at his face. Oh my god. You're gonna make me cry. You can't put her back together. <laughs> oh, Jack. Lawrence Fishburne is a fantastic actor. I don't like that music in the background. So we got our answer. Beverly is dead. Fuck's sake, Hannibal. What the fuck? This is just like sounds. <laughs> I like that shot. <laughs> what did he say to the senator? Um, did you breastfeed her? Tough on your nipples, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that is a major reference to Sounds of the Lambs. I told Beverly to go to you. 
thing she knew. My God. She didn't listen. Instead, she went looking for evidence. And this is the consequence. She met the Ripper last night, Jack. She, she will be um, missing organs. He had to take his trophies. Beverly Katz paid you a visit before she was murdered. What did the two of you discuss? When you weren't listening to that one? I met her in the privacy room. It is the only room in the facility I am not legally allowed to monitor. Don't you let that stop you. Ha! <laughs> we just think, Frederick. You could be the one who catches him after all. I know what you're doing, Will. <laughs> this chill gonna fall for him. Whoever killed James Gray and sewed him into his mural also murdered Beverly. Swapped out their kidneys. Right now, the only thing we have to go on is we find her kidneys and we find her killer. And Will knows James Gray was murdered by Hannibal. Does he? Or am I wrong about that? But he, he saw the same figure that he saw. Well, he, he knows he killed cats too. We just he just didn't tell Jack. Is it true you ate that poor Hobbs girl? What? You call me Will. Now we're of equal social standing. He didn't die. I thought you shot him, Will. Is this Fuck. Frederick's idea of punishment? Group therapy with a man who tried to kill me. I was the Chesapeake Ripper. No, you're the pretender to the throne. What did you offer Frederick to bring me back? A chance for him to get him. I'm the last person he wants to see. I give him a visceral chill in the guts. Yes, you did. That was left of them. You know who the Chesapeake Ripper is. You've met what is left of him. <laughs> so Frederick is to Why would you protect him? You were quite happy to try and kill me yourself. You have it in you, as they say. So I can drive him, bitch. Come on. But he may be useful in Will Graham's therapy. I'm trying to set Will on the path to rebuilding his broken brain. Picking up your pieces, as it were. These digs. I don't think Hannibal likes this. I'd like to interview Abel Gideon. Ah! It's gonna be interesting. Dare I say, I've never seen yours before. I'm Dr. Hannibal Lecter. What? I was Will Graham's psychiatrist. Well, he's not a very good advertisement for your abilities, Dr. <laughs> no. That remains to be seen. True. Brings you to the Baltimore State Hospital for the criminally insane. I am interviewing Will Graham Ooh. at his request. Imagine that. Interesting. It's good to see you again, Will. Let me rephrase that. It is good to see you in here, where you belong. This bitch. Thank you for coming. I would like to establish a line of communication. And your website seems like a good place to do that. Mm. Graham believed this man wanted to help, even though his motives for that are unclear. He killed people in his name, and he'd like to ask him why. <sighs> Is who's that? Who's Will's admirer? You're right. People don't understand much about me. Or about you. But at least we understand each other. There's something we don't have. He's the admirer. Just admirer. To you. <laughs> Is he the admirer? That's the you dude are. from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre no. remake. Killed the bailiff during my trial. I thought it would exonerate you. The judge? I killed the bailiff. The judge was somebody else. Hannibal! Okay. Right. Right. I finally got my answers. I want you to kill Hannibal Lecter. Oh! Oh! You just ordered a hit on Hannibal. And he's gonna. <laughs> and Gideon, you nosy little bastard. Gideon's back. I can't believe Gideon's back. Will's a terrible um, shooter, then, from what I can tell. He was right close to him as well. That's why he was right behind him when he shot him. Up to you. 
He's institutionalized. He's really in no position to be killing anyone. Not with his own hands. Who does he want to kill, Doctor? Gideon could be so useful in terms of revealing Hannibal as the Chesapeake Ripper, but he is not budging. Because he doesn't want Chilton to benefit from it, you know. And of course, we'll try to kill him. <laughs> that shot. <laughs> he looked so stupid. Oh. Oh. He's got him. That is so weird. I didn't. I actually thought we wouldn't be able to get Hannibal. This is so weird watching you know Hannibal in this position. The bucket came from exactly this situation. You could kick it out right now yourself and it would all be over. But Graham is not what you think. He's not a murderer. He is now. By proxy. Mm -hmm. He asked you to do this. What are friends for? <laughs> Now I'm gonna ask you a few yes or no questions. I bet that really hurts, Hannibal. Come on, Jack. Save Hannibal. <laughs> sounds so weird saying that. Maybe your murders will become my murders. I'll be the Chesapeake Ripper now. Only if you eat me. <laughs> Put your hands where I can see them. She's got a gun! Jack! Uh, quick, quick! Oh! Don't save him, Jack! <laughs> Don't! You idiot. Get an ambulance! Whoa. I did not expect this. This episode's crazy. Now that was a crazy episode. Whoa, that is probably my favorite episode of the season so far. So much happened in this episode. So the admirer is the nurse at the hospital. Um, he was the guy from the remake of TCM, and he was in a TV show called Kingdom. So he's in. I think it was another horror movie as well. So, oh, I forgot. What it was, was it Pulse? Was that was that what it was called? He 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 has a familiar face, and so he was the admirer who killed the bailiff. And Hannibal killed the judge because he wasn't happy that he that the judge shut down their alibi. And <laughs> I loved how um, I loved at the end where Jack was coming in to save Hannibal, and Hannibal was saying to himself, "Jack has to kill him because if he doesn't, he's going to find out that Hannibal's a Chesapeake Ripper." That's why I was like, "He's got a gun, Jack! Shoot him!" <laughs> I bet Hannibal was very worried then. It was so strange watching Hannibal, seeing Hannibal in a vulnerable position because he's been in a position of power and control throughout the entire season so far. The last season and a half, he's been in control. In this episode, this guy got him and had him in a, in a Jesus kind of position. And, and I wonder how he felt when he found out that Will sent... Uh, his, his admirer to kill the guy to kill him i wonder how he feels about that i wonder how he's gonna he's gonna when they have the next conversation with will hannibal and will when they have the next conversation how we will um how they're gonna deal with that it's gonna be very interesting to see how they do on the next couple of episodes and to start with beverly the, the opening with beverly uh i knew she was she was dead she was fucked and i didn't need I, I had a feeling and the way she was set out at that same place where the trainee's arm of um, of Jack was there and uh, where Gideon uh, disemboweled Chilton. Uh, that place is very significant now in the world of Hannibal. And uh, Jack's face just said it all. You know, it, great performance by Lawrence Fishburne when he saw Beverly. And I was a bit upset too because I like Beverly as a character and she was edging closer and closer to helping Will get Hannibal and uh Chilton is now uh well Will's using Chilton to his advantage now and he's got Gideon there so he can help 
um, find out about you know help Will's memory. But Will knows what happened in, what happened from the last episode between Gideon, Hannibal, and him when he had that seizure. And uh, Gideon knows full well that Hannibal is the Chesapeake Ripper, but he is not budging for his own reasons. And he does not like uh, Chilton at all. I and mean, I'm sure he's not a big fan of Will either. So he's not going to budge anytime soon. And that scene when Hannibal's there to interview him. And Gideon and Hannibal, they both know that Chilton is listening. And Gideon is like, he's like with his eyes is saying, I know you're the Chesapeake Ripper, and I know you told me where where uh, Bloom was, and I know you I know you told uh, Will that I was gonna kill her. That's why he shot me. You can tell he was saying that through his eyes, but he was just talking like he didn't know Hannibal before. He, didn't, he hasn't spoke to Hannibal before. He just knew of him. This is a great fucking show. It really is. It is just a fantastic show, and I did not expect that nurse guy to be the admirer and. I got answers to some questions. For example, Hannibal killed the judge. It was Hannibal. I thought it was the admirer. But it makes sense that Hannibal did it too because Hannibal was annoyed with the judge quite clearly. And Freddie Lowndes, you know, she um, spoke to Will and Hannibal and um, they, they made an agreement. And um, it was an interesting scene because those two despise each other, you know. <laughs> and... Um, we didn't get an answer to what Beverly saw before she died. She was very shocked, like, oh my god. And Hannibal appeared behind her, behind her. And um This show is revving up now. It's revving up quite a bit now in this season. And I can't wait to check out the next episode. I'm gonna watch the next episode straight after this because I want to see what happens. And uh Jack I, I, I was right about the last episode where Hannibal did not let Bella kill herself because he knew if he if he didn't allow her to kill herself, Jack would appreciate it. And oh, well, Will knows Hannibal killed Beverly, and was it revenge? Like him trying to avenge Beverly by again, uh, his admirer to kill Hannibal, or was it something different? I don't know. But there are so many things to talk about with just one episode. There's so many things. So many um, variables in these episodes. It's, it's just this is a great example of a great show with great development, with great stories, multiple different stories to go on to. And I'm still a bit weird, weird out about how vulnerable Hannibal was at that end. In, in the end of this episode, it was very strange, very strange. Granted, he had a tough time fighting with that guy. Uh, I forgot his name, with the violin or whatever it is in the last season. But yeah, he was close to death if it wasn't for Jack and Bloom and Gideon kind of tipped off Bloom uh, you know but yeah it's great to see Gideon back too even though I thought Will killed him he's a great character and, and I liked like I said the interview that, that that was a great scene between Hannibal and Gideon because they're both they have similarities and I think Gideon the guy who plays Gideon he reminds me a lot of Anthony Hopkins how he speaks and how you know how his mannerisms I, I get that I get that um, that feeling when I when I see him in this mo- in the show movie in, in the show and um, this was a really good episode might be my favorite episode of the season so far but I wonder how Jack and Bloom will react to knowing that Will set sent um, his admirer to kill Hannibal pretty much and that's another thing too I'll be looking forward to see and. Um, I feel like once everyone finds out that Hannibal is the Chesapeake Ripper, the people who we've grown to, you know, grown to, you know, be attached to, it's just is building up to that moment when we find out and we are rewarded by their reactions to it. It's going to be so good. And uh, I loved how there's been many moments where Hannibal's not lucky, but close to being, you know, in some serious trouble. And this episode was close. You know, what if they, ca- you know, they didn't kill that guy, the, the admirer. It actually, you know, they captured him and he starts talking. But maybe they don't, I don't know. At the same time, would they really believe a guy who did this to Hannibal and it claims to be admirer? Maybe they think he's chess people. I, I, I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know. But yes, that was my reaction to this episode. This was a fantastic episode. And I can't wait to check out the next episode. So yes, if you want to check out my full-length reaction to this, you can do it on my Patreon. 
And you can do that same thing for the movies I watch and previous and future Hannibal episodes. And I hope you guys enjoy this episode or, or, or video. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.